Time for another confession. These two fly pieces were cut out as identical copies and in retrospect I think that's a mistake. I should correct that in the pattern. They should be mirror images of themselves. So um, what I did is I cut out a new fly piece that is identical to this one. The only difference is that if I put them next to each other, um, the good side is up here, whereas the bad side is up here. On the curved side of this um, fly piece, the, well, admittedly they both curved, but the, the one with the large curve, we're going to put um, bias tape to fix it, um, to finish it. Um, if you don't know what bias tape is, this is an example of bias tape. You see it's folded and the idea is then you fold it double. And you sew it like that, and that finishes your um, the edge of your fabric in a neat way. Now, this white on black um, is something you could do if you wanted a little um, a little highlight there. Um, I'm going to use uh, lining fabric, and I'm going to make my own bias tape. So I cut a strip of our lining fabric. I cut it on bias. What does that mean? That the the yarns um, run like this, so it's cut under 45 degrees, actually the fabric was like that. Why? Because that's what they call on bias, it drapes better. And I'm going to put it around the same as the bias tape, like this. To start, what I'm going to do is, um, this is the way that I, that I uh, put bias tape on. I'm going to put the bad side up and then put my bias tape on it and then I'm going to be sewing it here in the first pass. Once that's done, let me illustrate it by pinning things. So this is where I'll be sewing. Once that is done, be flipping this over to the other side, fold this back and then finish it there. However, by first doing this stitch, even if I don't catch the back side here, it will still be attached because that's often a problem when making bias tape, making sure that you catch your stitch, catches both the front and the back. So this is the way I do it. Still get my zipper foot on my machine. And we're going to do this by step now on our fly piece. As you can see, we did the first stitch on the bad side because we're going to flip it over now. I'm going to fold that backwards. And then from the good side, we're going to stitch nicely on the edge there. And on the bad side, if we're lucky, it catches in the fabric. If not, it doesn't. And to be honest, we don't really care. However, before we do that, I'm going to press it, because that will make it easier to stitch it neatly. I'm going to make sure we have a nice and straight edge of lining there. And iron that in place. There we go. We got this nice edge there. We're going to be sewing. Um, before we stitch this, I'd just like to point out that under this bias tape here is a good way to put some branding if you'd like to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this thing there. There we go. Looking nice. Now that we've got our ply piece prepared, take out the right leg of your 
trousers, put it with the good side up, inside, good side, good side up. Fly piece, good sides together, so the fly piece with the good side down. Align it with the, with the edge of the crotch and pin this in place, following the curve. When pinning this in place, you're going to be stitching there, sewing there, so stay away from the edge, it's probably a good idea. And then sew that seam once I'm ready to seam the lines. We've just sewn this in place and admittedly I should have told you before, but make sure to catch front leg lining. Now that we've sewn this seam, I'm once again going to press this. However, what I want you to do is I want you to flip this to the back and then instead of pressing it exactly so that the seam is in the middle, I want you to roll the front a bit further so that when you press this down, you don't see the fly piece. See? So just a few millimeters, not enough to be much. You push the fly piece to the back and then you press it from this side so that from the front you don't see anything. You know, the fabric is just folded over and then that seam so it's a few millimeter from the edge. As you can see, hopefully, we've got it nicely folded back. Okay, time to sew our fly together. Um, this is the right part of the leg to which our zipper is already attached. Put that down good side up, the, zip and the zipper is opened up. And you put the left side on it, good sides together. So this good side down, however the fly piece you fold back. You align it more or less neatly on top. And then with the good side of the fly down, I need you to put the, the fly, the side of the fly on this fly piece. When it comes to the height, make sure it starts at the same point as the zipper on the other side. So I've aligned, don't watch this, this is a bit longer because I left it that way. I've aligned top of both sides and the zip starts there so I'm going to let it start there too and then keep it one centimeter from the edge of your fly piece so just about there and pin the fly pin the zip to your fly piece Sure to keep it nice and parallel. Okay, that's more or less it. Now, you've of course pinned this through all layers, which is not what you need. So now, pin it in between your pins to only the fly piece. And then remove your all layer pins. Now I get the fly pinned to our fly piece. 